Glenn Cassie. We begin tonight from the State House. With time running out in this year's legislative session in Vermont, the House took action on what would be a major change to the state's handgun laws. Local 22's Mike Howie live in Montpelier tonight with the vote breakdown and much more. Mike? Well, good evening, Lauren and Glenn. Tonight here under the Golden Dome, the Vermont House gave preliminary approval to Senate Bill 169, which would create a 24-hour waiting period for all handgun purchases in the Green Mountain State. Now, supporters have said that doing this would allow the state to help prevent suicides by making it more difficult for Vermonters to purchase a handgun on a whim. Opponents say Vermonters would also have a tougher time buying a handgun to protect themselves from domestic abuse. Use. A lawmaker from Barrytown also says that a waiting period would cause attendance at gun shows to plummet, which he says in turn would threaten the existence of private gun clubs. In addition to helping prevent suicides, this waiting period may also help prevent homicides. A representative of the Vermont Network Against Domestic and Sexual Violence testified that firearms are the most frequently used weapon in domestic homicides. I'm told that the Barry Fish and Game Club is 100 years old this year, and they personally feel that there's an unintended consequence that comes out of this waiting period and they feel the, the community activities will be curtailed and they may even have to close their club. Now, House members approved the waiting period bill tonight, 8258. But again, this is just a preliminary step. In order to give it final approval, they still have to vote on it one more time, which they might actually be able to do as soon as tomorrow. The waiting period bill is on the agenda for the House's next meeting, which is right back here in not much more than 10 hours at 9.30 a.m. Live in Montpelier, Mike Hoey, Local 22 News. All right, thank you, Mike. Earlier today, the House...